One of the first things we're going to want to do even before we start developing is set up our debug environment. So go to the global configuration panel and click on the system tab. We're going to want to set debug system to yes and the main reason we do this is if there is an error in any of the database queries we'll see it immediately. The other thing you might want to do is increase your session lifetime to a big number and this is because sometimes you might be developing for a while, you'll come back to test something in the browser and you'll have been logged out of the front end or the back end of the site. The next thing we want to do is jump to the server tab and we want to change the error reporting value to maximum. In this way, regardless of what the server settings are, we will be able to see all of the PHP errors that occur. Save those values. Now, something you'll notice on the new page is all of a sudden there's all this extra information. Now, where's this coming from? Well, this is actually coming from the debug plugin, which by default is turned on. Uh, and it displays in a module position called debug in the template. This information can get annoying after a while. So the way that we turn this off is go to the plugin manager, uh, filter on the system group, and just simply disable the system debug plugin. Now you should only ever use these settings on your staging server or your local development server. You should never use them in production.